everyone. Welcome to Quarantine Parenting. Thanks for being here today. Uh, it's you joining my channel the first time. My name is Dr. Courtney Pegram and I created these super scrappy <laughs> videos to provide you insight, resources, and help. I want to be with you through this and I want to best serve my parents, my educators, because working from home and homeschooling is a lot to handle. You have so many different things going on, plus the emotions that you need to manage, and it, it's just all too much. So the idea is creating these daily videos to kind of hit on the topics that I'm going through or that I've heard of that might be helpful for you. So if anything I say does not jive with you, let it go. Do not think that if you're not doing it, you're doing a bad job. There's no room for judgment um, in this space. So we were talking about motivation this week and I kind of wanted to expand on that. Ah, uh, so the reason I picked this topic is I'm struggling this week with motivation. I feel totally demotivated. It's like I don't know where my time goes. I know where it's supposed to go because I have it on my schedule, my calendar, but still I feel like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I'm not being my best self during quarantine. And you know, I read a ton of articles, I'm all about self-development. But I found myself today just feeling like, ugh, you know, I, I, I'm not producing enough. I'm not homeschooling my daughter well enough. I'm So that's the, I'm not enough is coming up. So I found that those times that not feeling like you're enough comes when there's high levels of anxiety, of doubt, of uncertainty, and just over a sense of not knowing what's happening or who you are. I make a joke uh, to my friends in the morning that I wake up and it's like, what am I going to do for the rest of my life? <laughs> and I like to laugh about it. I know everything's going to work out. It always works out for me. And I'm blessed with an incredible business. But, you know, some days it's been more stressful than others. I'm an educational consultant. Um, I need to be into the schools or into the corporations to speak, to run trainings. <laughs> so I'm doing some of it virtually. And it's been great. So I, I, I'm lucky for that. But a lot of, I've lost a ton too. So that becomes demotivating. And that makes me question like internally who I am. So for me this week has been big as far as like, I just can't get that second wave of let's do this. So um, I, I played around with times and I know that I've shared with you, I switched my schedule with my husband. So I do homeschooling in the morning, early afternoon and I swap and then I worked until the evenings. And I started changing things a bit that if I don't feel it, I can't get it done, then I don't stress about it. I also don't commit to calls or programs or coaching in those hours where I'm supposed to be homeschooling because it's too much. So I'm trying to lessen my plate, lessen my load, so I don't like sabotage myself because that's super demotivating. If you set yourself out with 10 things to do in one day and you're like, this is gonna be super easy, but you really know that's a lot to do and you don't get them accomplished, you're demotivated. You don't feel good about yourself. So keep, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> I love saying that for me. Um, only do the minimal, right? Like three or two things must do. And then when you, when you accomplish them, you feel so much better and you're motivated. Also for motivation, a huge key factor is accountability. Find someone to tell, if it's your social media platforms, if it's a friend, if it's your mother, if it's your spouse, your partner, whoever, right? But tell someone you're gonna do something because you're more likely to do it. And I really want us to work on like being better with each other. Just as I spoke of feeling like I'm not enough, it, it happens to all of us, we all have self-doubt. And when self-doubt arises, instead of like squashing it and ignoring it or, um, numbing it, it's important to think about like what is causing this anxiety. So I'm going to explore my my situation and hopefully you can relate to this and it might be helpful. So I feel like I'm not doing enough during quarantine and that's just a behavior pattern of my entire life. So it's not just upcoming now. So if you have tendencies to feel like you're not, you're lazy, you're not productive enough, you're not doing enough, you're not doing it well enough. You know, I mean, I, I made a horrible joke to my husband. I was like, you know what, I don't want quarantine to end too soon because I don't feel like I have the hang of it. 
Right, I should have the hang of it by now. It's been a month. I should be in a schedule. I should, I should, I should. See, you see again the pattern? I'm not enough and I should. So those are two things you want to eliminate. So how do you do that? So explore why you feel like you're not enough. I'm not doing enough. Um, I am not. So the other thing I said is um, for homeschooling, I feel like I'm not being, um, I'm not, I'm not hitting my expectations for homeschooling for my daughter. Not the teachers. I have a, like, I hit those every day, but I feel like I have such high expectations of myself in these hours of homeschool and I'm not delivering because, you know, I should be here. Again, the should, right? So eliminate that and go back to basics. What is my daughter going to remember about homeschooling? How I lost my marbles, yelled, screamed, and it made her feel bad about herself? Or is she going to remember the time that we played, we learned, we read, we figured out how to do online school, right? Those are the things she's going to remember and those are the memories I want to implant in in our family and I want her to talk about years down the road. I don't want her to talk about how I can't keep it together because I'm not hitting my expectations, my deliverables. So that's what's important. So when you have too much on your plate or you're setting your expectations way too high and it's unrealistic, you get demotivated. You don't feel like you're enough. So for me, the whole thing about like, not feeling like I'm doing enough in quarantine, it's because I'm not addressing the feelings of um, anxiety, uncertainty. What am I doing? How am I going to deal with all this? You know, do I qualify for that? Can I get this? And then it, it's a ton of stuff. So I feel like I'm not doing enough because I am not realizing the stuff that I do get accomplished in a day because I have, I'm like, well, that's not a big deal. I'm not giving myself any credit. So I want you to think about that, you know, so if we're t today, um, I'm trying to think about it. So today, so we're, it's like six o'clock is the time I get to do the video. Um, cause I'm transitioning with my husband. So I was about to start the video. I'm like, I got nothing done today. I was like, Oh, this is so frustrating for me. Like, you know, where do I spend my time? You know, I've, I followed the guidelines of my schedule that I've mentioned, I'm like, but still, I feel like I, I didn't accomplish anything. Well, I didn't take into account that I, you know, cooked, I cleaned, I homeschooled, I joined two meetings today, I had an hour coaching call, but I'm not seeing that because all I'm seeing is my shoulds and my, my must-dos that are on my list that aren't reflective in what I've accomplished throughout the day. So you see the disconnect? So it's not that I'm not doing anything, it's that I'm not acknowledging what I've done. <clears throat> it's allergies, this is only allergies. I'm only acknowledging what I haven't accomplished. So I'm beating myself down. So when we beat ourselves down, that's how we get demotivated. So what do we do? How do I fix this? Easy. By listing the things that you've accomplished and you feel good with, that's what you'd be like, yeah, this is what I got done today and this feels good, right? So I cooked and, and my husband loved a meal. It makes me feel good. I um, He was watching the news. I, I personally don't think that watching the move, move news is motivating at all, but I sat with him and we talked about it and we, and I felt a little more motivated to then do something else because I had a connection with him. We were talking. I felt that he understood me, my fears. I was talking about all the stuff that was coming up. And in that moment, the tension he gave me, Brie was like, okay, I got this. I'm just going to move on and do one more little thing. Right? And if you don't get your to do's done, <laughs> today, in a week, in a month, it's okay. Because they're not meant to be done if it's so difficult for us to get to it. If you're struggling, like, and you have all like the, the murky stuff you wanna deal with, so that for me would be admin, taxes, grants, loan applications, I blah, 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 right? That's not my jam, I don't like it. I drag it on, it's like forever. No, so do things that bring you joy, spark creativity, get you going because it's the simple little small things, simple, stupid, that can really help jazz you up. So today, just working out was like, yes, that's what I did and I'm owning it and I feel good about it. Versus like, well, right after my workout, you know, I wasn't in the shower, I wasn't on top of stuff. No, like, so take that voice in your head and squash it. That's the one thing you can squash. Let the emotions rise, don't, don't numb them, don't squash them, but squash that voice in your head that's constantly telling you that you're too lazy, you're not doing enough, you're not productive enough. Because 
this is the reason I really want to fix that in me is because I am enough and I've accomplished a ton in my life but I don't see it enough and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna inflict that on my daughter and she's gonna feel the same way not because I told her not because I made her feel bad because I'm modeling it so the stuff that we're modeling our kids pick up quickly right they're like sponges so that's why I want to change that and this is why I'm exploring it with you so you better understand where it's coming from so to recap take the shoulds out of your vocabulary take the I'm not enough out of your vocabulary and start realizing what you're accomplishing it's a difficult time we're stuck in our houses right or you're out and you're working and you you're exposing yourself you might be at risk like we're all going through this together in different stages at different parts but it's by us coming together and realizing that we're doing the best art we can in this moment and that's all we can do and I really think that using that is really helpful and other mantras that calm you and motivate you are really important to use like things are working out for me right today's gonna be a good day even if it's a, it turns out to be a crappy day your entire day wasn't crappy there's only components of it so split it up and think about the good things that happen right add humor humor is motivating right add hugs right add friendship add laughter right? have a good belly laugh once a day I mean that's a challenge so if you can get that done I think you win at life but those are the small things so start thinking of all the small things that get you going and use that as your reinforcement right so take away the shoulds, the fear based, the not enough, out the window, bye, bye and focus on what really makes your heart sing and you find joy. And they're all little small things. It's never big things when you think about it. So I'm going to leave you that today and um, we'll close everything up tomorrow and put in a beautiful bow <laughs> and that will be our whole content on motivation. So thanks for joining me. I'm so excited that you're here. If you like this video, smash the like button below and then subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.